Rockfish, or rock cod, as they are often referred to by the locals, offer a great winter fishing opportunity when a lot of the other big game fish species are long distance from the San Diego Harbor. So join us for deep drops and a lot of winding off the coast of Mexico chasing rockfish. The only way to start your day down here in San Diego before a day of fishing is hitting the taco shop. Gotta get ourselves some, some fresh calamari. Only 110 calories a serving. Eat your bait. Get the tight one here. Oh. Come on, find your hole. Oh my god. I can't get it in here. <laughs> what in the Oh my god. I've never struggled this hard. It does look terrible, whatever's going Usually on. Usually goes right in. Well, we're we're back in San Diego here. We're gonna do a little fishing today. We decided to call it quit the day early on our duck hunting trip. We just didn't see the didn't see what we were wanting to see for ducks and it wasn't looking too great for the morning. So not a bad plan B being here in San Diego, always got fishing in the backyard, so we we uh, cut it back to uh, back home, and uh, it's it's uh, middle of the winter here in San Diego, so you know we don't have a lot of our game fish are you know they move south for the for the winter when the temps cool down. The bluefin are still about 100 miles south, but they're getting closer. But um, we have a little bit of yellowtail fishing this time of year, but really it's mostly rock cod and uh, so wing cod, rockfish, um, stuff like that. So we're gonna go out today and we're gonna fish a couple of the um, the, the banks out here, the, some of the high spots for some, uh, we're gonna be looking for red red rock cod, vermilion, vermilion rockfish and uh, wing cod hopefully. And uh, we're gonna drop be dropping down anywhere from probably, oh, 350, 400 feet up to, depending on, on where we find them, up to six to 800 feet, we're gonna be dropping down anywhere from 12 to 16 ounces of lead to get down there. Um, real fun cranking them up, especially when you get a couple nice ones on the, on the line. So um, we're using squid, sardines. Um, they'll eat just about anything. Something that we always have on tap here is, is this fishery. It's kind of underappreciated to be honest. I mean, it's you could go out here any time of the year and, and catch them really with minimal effort. I mean, they're always there. They don't really move around too much. But um, it's fun, really good eating. White fish, it's just like the cod you buy at the grocery store. Um, white, firm meat, you know, good fish tacos, beer batter, whatever you wanna do with it, good stuff. So maybe we'll do a little catch and cook with it today as well. So stay tuned. Pretty basic rig we're using here. Um, double dropper loop, which basically you've got swivel. I use 60 pound mono just because it holds up a little better, keeps your, your drops you know flat, keeps keeps you from tangling. The uh, the swivel really helps your line from tangling. Um, so we're gonna run we're fishing a little deeper today. Um, we're gonna try to find some some better quality fish down deeper. So we've got 16 ounce torpedo sinker here, and then I mean you take your pick on hooks. Doesn't really matter. Put those on your dropper loop, and uh, pin on some bait, and you're fishing. Doing a little bait prep here. We're gonna be using pretty much two things. We're gonna be using some squid and also live sardines. See what they want to eat. You'll get them on both, but sometimes they like. Sometimes they want one more than the other, so. Basically, just cut your squid into strips or however you want to do it. These fish are not picky whatsoever. So, 
as long as you got a piece of meat on a hook, you probably get a bite. So, so we're out here in about 500 feet of water right now, we're kind of following this ridge line, trying to find a little high point or a pinnacle or some sort of rock, some sort of structure. We'll see here. It's gonna kind of bump around, look at the sonar, and uh, when we see something that looks good, we'll spin around and uh, drop down on it. The long descent. Gonna be a lot of cranking going on today. I think the spinning reel is gonna be better, but I have no clue. Nick doesn't agree. Oh, it. it, it uh, I think it's more sensitive. It's this braid uh, on here. Well, that you should have braid on everything, but you can only have so many setups. Yeah. Um, the spinning reel is great. How um, deep of water? I, is until it? you. 5.11. 5.11. Last time, what did we do it in? 2.80? Yeah. Yeah. Double the cranking. It'll be better quality fish, too. You're gonna run out of line. Literally. <laughs> oh, there we go. Taking her out. See what happens. They're biting the shit out of it. <laughs> see him eating it. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Oh, there we go. Didn't take long. Now, no. okay, now you see why. I think I'm gonna use the other rod next. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the, to the other faster. reel after this. Why are you bent over like that? It looks I don't know. It's painful. Hard to reel this. No, stick it in your crotch or your gut. Just like that. Just <laughs> reel. Pretty bad, I know. I've done it. I am actually amazed it's not up yet. It takes so long. Oh, oh I see it. Tell her. What do we got? Tell her. Oh, we got oh, a double sand dab. sand dab. Not quite what we're looking for. <laughs> double though. Doubled up on the sand dab. Wow. No wonder they felt so light. Yeah. These two odd looking suckers are Pacific sand dabs. They aren't exactly what we're after, but they are delicious little critters. Beautiful, just like a little halibut. Kind of translucent. Beautiful white flesh on them though. And they're down to the depths. Got a little bit of fish down there on those rocks. Going down with the old spinner. You wear out your left arm and then you switch to your right. I told you, spinning rod beat you up. Way down there, man. Oh. That looks heavy. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this. I know it's horrible. We're switching that over. That one looks heavy. The old coffee grinder. <laughs> Grinding up a morning brew. <laughs> this is a good one. Something, something decent. Cool thing about rock fishing is you drop down there and you have no idea what of, you know, 40 species you could pull up. No idea. Close there, you also need to see a chiropractor after a day of this. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh. That's the right that is what we are after today, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Where's my beer? Broken. Are you kidding me? Sucks. There we are. That elite. That elite. Look at this little sucker. Just, they have the they're the weirdest little critter. Mola mola. Ocean sunbird. Ocean sunbird. 
Oh, it looks like they're there. Ooh. That's good. We'll wait to that one. Yep. All right. Oh, this thing's got to be 15 pounds. Looking at least, better here. at least 15 pounds. Probably not. Probably five. But holy yeah. crap. They got a pound of lead on there. Yeah, true. So maybe 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Oh, this sucks. It's great, but it sucks. Well, you got, some, you got a nice little audience here. And the buttons. Oh, there it is, color. There we go. Well, I thought he was nice, bigger. Nice fish. Hooked weird. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're after, though. Oh, that's a wow. Really good eater. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that. <laughs> wow. That'll eat. There he is. I don't know what, what species this is. But is it same as your last one, right? Beautiful little sucker. Just laid the wood to it down there too. Good hook set, Good right either. in the corner of the mouth. Yep. Can't even get it out. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yo, the green spotted rock. There he is. Real cool fish. Googly eyed. Swim bladders poking out, but good taco. Gonna eat, gonna eat great. It's a big taco. Look at her. Look That's at her. Life, I want to get in on that. Mm. Get you a little breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, they're biting on the way down here. There we go. That's a good one. That's a heck of a one to end on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Didn't get much bigger than that. Could be a five, six pound fish. Maybe more. I don't know. What do you think, Nick? Good one to end on. Family worth of tacos in that one. <laughs> Shit. A bigger one. Got what we came for. That's some real nice quality ones today. I mean, five, six pounders probably. Some smaller ones, of course, as well, but. Can't beat that. Good quality eating right there. Looks like big, large mouths. Yeah. Old really do. This time of year, rock fishing is actually closed in the U.S. So we're fishing in Mexico, and you can keep 10 fish total apiece, but only 5 can be one species. So once we were done with our green spotted rockfish, we headed shallow to try our hand at a few different species. A monster. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Good lord. Look, Dad. What I got. Salmon grouper. 
gets a bad rap, but still not that bad. We'll eat them. Fish. Got something here. All right, yeah. got, here he is. Oh, white fish. Nice. What's he got hanging out of his mouth? About <laughs> dropped her in the ocean. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come here. Beautiful little sucker here. Slimy though. <laughs> the old, uh, they call it a white fish. I'm gonna have to look up exactly what that is. But interesting. I know we ate some ceviche of this last time. Very good. Pretty cool. Put her in the cooler. Ooh. Don't know what this is, but I got it. Good end Everyone to toss in the cooler. Nice. Nice. Interesting. Mm. Little sucker. Good one, Dan. It feels really good. The biggest one I've had on all day. Maybe it's two, maybe it's hooked weird. I'm excited to see. You know, the bottom of the Pacific Ocean is just like a box of chocolates. You really never know what you're going to get. Let the red. Oh, oh it's, it's a big, big flag. flag. <laughs> Look at that. That's oh, the biggest one I've ever seen. Thick. You don't shoot up. I know. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, this is the one I wanted to catch again. Really? Remember I caught that one this Twice summer? Twice the size of the other one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at his tail. Thing's huge. Old sucker. Yep. Beautiful. Hanging out down there for the What's this, a flag rock? Beautiful, man. Or a clown. That's awesome. That's Sweet, so man. cool. Sweet. Started fishing real deep. Um, we're down here in Mexico. Uh, rockfish season's closed up in the U.S., so we came across here, um, across the border. And uh, we started real deep in like anywhere from five to almost 700 feet for a while there. And uh, we got some real nice, we found a lot more quality fish out deeper um, as, it, as to be expected. Uh, just not a lot of fun cranking them up from that, uh, from that deep. So we um, got, our, got our five each of, uh, of those. We came in here and uh, fished a little shallower just to kind of, you know, change it up a little bit. Caught some white fish, um, one real nice flag here and uh, a couple other other odd species and and uh yeah we had some fun um caught a lot of fish we're tired out man cranking these things up from 600 feet after about three or four you're about done so we're toast we got plenty to eat plenty for tacos and we're gonna head in good day So we ended up with all these delicious rockfish. Gonna end up cooking them today in the traditional style of fish and chips. Uh, beer battered fish, and we're gonna do actual chips because Mariah wants to do actual chips and whatever she says goes generally. Uh, anyway, gonna start out with the classic tartar sauce. What you're gonna need for this tartar sauce? Red onion, lemon, dill weed, little dill relish, and probably the most important part, Hellman's mayonnaise, even though it's best foods here. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna start by chopping up this red onion here. This is one of those feel recipes. All right, now we're gonna add the mayo. Like I said, this is all feel, as you can see quite a bit in there. This dill rel this relish gives it just a little more dill. Secret ingredient is a lot of dill weed. I don't know why I like calling it dill weed today, but I do. A lot of dill. A lot of dill goes. Little dill goes a long way. The juice out of one lemon. This is hands down the best tartar sauce known to man. All right, tartar sauce is done. I'm gonna slap that in the fridge real quick and then start working on our beer better. You're using a self-rising flour. It's half a cup of that, a teaspoon of salt, and then uh, half a bottle of your favorite beer. We like Modelo's around here. Say half a bottle, more of a can. I'm gonna whisk it together. 
good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these potatoes up. I'm gonna go ahead and salt them right away. And that oil's still wet. That salt sticks to them. Mm. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these, slap them in the oven, and I say that, probably gonna end up eating most of these before they make it to the oven. And then I'm gonna do fish at the end, so. Batter the old fish up. Just taking them out of the oil now. They look awesome, real good golden brown. Well, it's a moment of truth here. Real good, like, just like the freaking pubs, fish and chips. Um, fun to catch and they taste awesome. Like exactly, I mean, it's like, it's, it is cod. So, delicious stuff. Mm -hmm.